Hey, hey. I think I'm live. Let me just check. Yeah, I think I'm live. Sorry for uh, the late start, folks. Um, I've been ordering food in and supplies like cigarettes and things like that. And I ordered, but I think I ordered for a different shop. And it says it's been delivered and nothing's arrived. So I was just hanging on to see what was happening. So at any moment now, there may be a knock at the door. So how is everyone? I'm just waiting to see who all joins in tonight. Um, I thought instead of just doing a random sort of chat live stream, notice the beard's gone. Yeah, I've not done anything with the mullet yet. It's getting there. Um, yeah, so I might run out of cigarettes. I've got I've got roll ups, but that'll be. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do something on my live stream, and I'm trying something different. I've got my other uh, webcam mounted on my. Um, stand that I normally use when I'm doing um, just check everybody can hear me okay um, normally I, I would have my um, phone on that stand and I'd be videoing like say if I was doing an inbox review or whatever but uh, yeah um, Fraser's in Bobbins is in Bob Bobbins 9000 is that like how 9000 but with an oil change so I've got one of the I've done a few of these wee Velman kits. You might be asking why a voice changer. Well, up there I've got my wee disco unit that I'm working on. I just thought a voice changer might be something funny to put in. So I'm planning on doing it live, but I'm just wondering where this deliveries went because it's like 40 quid's worth of stuff and it's like, if it doesn't come, I'll be like on the phone tomorrow going, yeah, bar steward. So welcome, everybody. Uh, wow, 11 folk in So uh, don't be scared To say hello um, My name's Terry Nickname's Smooth Normally build models of, you know Styrene or Balsa, whatever I dabble in electric rate I'm not an expert I had somebody comment on one of my videos The other day um, It was an old one And I was, I was playing about with uh, An oscilloscope thing that I got He's like you're obviously a layman. And I went, okay. I've worked in the electronics factory and stuff. Okay. Your soldering is not up to standard. And I went, thanks, mate. And I think you should refrain from these type of videos. And then I checked his channel and he had no videos on it. So, yeah, obviously a troll. So, yeah. <laughs> What's everybody been up to? Have you had a nice weekend? Or is it the same shite, different day, same as me? So I've just got Fraser and Bobbins in. So let me just try and see how you guys... Um, let's see if I switch to my bench camera uh, using this software. I'm just testing it out. Is that clear enough? Is it in focus? Can you see my wee voice changer thing? Is it all looking okay? Um, I don't think I'll be able to get any close-ups on it, but you should be able to kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to see if... Uh, trying something different to see if that will be suitable for this evening. Because webcams aren't all that great, to be quite honest. Um, you can see Bobbins, that's great. Uh, just let you know, Super Chat is active. You don't have to, um, but there is a little dollar sign down at the left-hand side if you do want to try and help support the channel. What's Fraser saying? Things have been okay, just been thinking about what to buy a friend. They gave me some old 40k models. I want to buy him something equal to the value of what he gave me. What is your friend into? Does he make models? He obviously doesn't play 40k Warhammer or he wouldn't have given you all the figurines that he gave you. Um, if he likes women, buy him, I think a pack of six condoms is about nine quid now. Uh, <laughs> or some beers or something like that. I don't know. Something equal to the value. So what did he give you? Uh, my brother has got a ton of old 40k, well, not 40k, what's the original Warhammer um, version 1, 
were light figurines and all that sort of thing that I was trying to get off him. Um, there's quite a lot of value in some of the, the stuff that he's got, but he hasn't got complete sets. So, yeah, it depends the value of what he gave you. That's really up to yourself. So apart from the two, it's chatting on here, and I know that um, on a Sunday it's usually quite busy. Everybody's doing all the war hamster. What's Brad going? Not, f not for me. Bye. Thanks for popping in, Brad, and bye bye. Yeah, it's not going to be everybody's thing. Um, I'm going to get back to my usual stuff. I'm going to get back to my inbox reviews and all that sort of stuff. I thought I might try and make one of these wee voice changer things, but I'm still wondering where my delivery is because it says it's here and it's not. So I will be tuning them in the morning. Just checking on my phone here. No, no updates. Right, so shall I have a go at it for a laugh, for a giggle? Shall I go to the bench cam and let you see what you get in this daft wee kit? Might as well. So we shall go on to the Benji cam. Right, so I've had this for a little while now. Uh, Velman make a load of little kits. You've probably seen some of them where I've done the strobes and all the rest of it. This one is supposed to change your voice. Now, it's only a tenner on Amazon, so it's something to do on a rainy day if you want to practice your soldering skills. Um... Make your voice sound like a robot. Okay. Vibrato. Pitch buttons. Built-in microphone. An amplifier. Just add a speaker. Yeah, it doesn't give you a speaker. So I've got one of these wee... Um, one of these wee card things that you, you can record voice on. It has a little speaker. I shall steal a speaker off of that just for a laugh. So let's have a little look at what we get in the box here. There is a staple in it. I think I should remove that first. So I shall. Hopefully this is reasonably clear. Yep. I'm just going to go into the uh, live chat because it's more up to date. Stick that up at the side. There we go. I think Brad was in on another evening's um, chat, but I can't remember what his preference and stuff is. Yeah, so it's just a something I dabble in, a little bit of electricity. So this is what you get for your nine pounds and fifty pence. I'll put this to the side because that glares away. So you get a little um right, can I get the focus working on this? Let's see. Because this is a new thing that I'm trying. Uh, where's the camera? This is something new that I'm... Oh, no, that's not what I'm wanting. Or is that it? Um, let's take off the autofocus. Close that. I'm just testing this thing out because I've not used it before. <laughs> that's rubbish. Focus. Let's try this. What arms? I can't even move it. Ah, here we go. Right, I'm just figuring this out. So you get a little circuit board. It's pre-made. And a little solder pads on the back with all the instructions on where the parts go. So that's cool. Shall I put it back on all oh, focus again? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to play about with settings on this. Uh, normally, the little cardboard thing that you get gives you all the instructions or destructions, whatever way, way you want to look at it. Tells you how to power it all up and everything like that. Okay. So that'll be for me to have a little look at. So I've got a little circuit board. I've got a little 9-volt battery. What was it? PP9, what do you call them? PP9s. 
can't remember now, but a nine volt um, nine volt battery connection doesn't give you the battery, so we've got that. Let's see what else is in there. I may have to adjust the focus whilst I'm doing this, so let's just yeah. turn the bits. I've just jumped out. What have we got? Right, so I've got keep that store, another one. That's two. Another capacitor. That's three. Another one. That's four. Now, do I need to adjust this focus down onto the bench? I have no idea. Let me let me play with this. Um, I'm just playing with manual and auto focus. No, I'll stick it on auto. We'll come in a bit and see what you can see. Right, there's some capacitors. Right, oh, very nice. Variable pot. Okay. We've got one of these little... Um, I don't see chips included with this. I would have assumed that there would be chips to put in both of these, and I can't see any. Um, an 8 pin and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, a 16 pin. I can't see any chips that have dropped out. Oh, there they are. <laughs> right, forget that one. What have they got there? We've got a little on off switch. Uh. This is take me back to my practical electronics days. One of the best classes I ever took. That's a bit of fun. Well, there, there's another capacitor. They're probably all the same value. I'll check in a minute. There's another capacitor. Now, this is a little adjuster. It looks to go in through this big one. Yeah, that's the main sort of volumey type thing. Right, what else have we got? We've got a little microphone. Well, this this um, zoom thing isn't really working, is it? The focus. The autofocus isn't really work. Mm. It's being a pain. Right, so there's a little microphone. We have another potentiometer for some reason for adjustment and we've got uh, some of these little tactile switches ouch sharp so we've got one two three four of those we seem to have some spikes hmm don't know what these are PCB tabs, there's one, two, three, and four, okay, so these obviously go through the PCB at some point, couple of red LEDs, little three mole LEDs in red, and we have one, two, three, possibly four different values. I can't make them out at the moment. Of a standard ceramic capacitors. Got a diode. Could be a Zener diode. There we go. A wee diode. <laughs> PCP, no, PCB, mate. That's, uh, yeah. No drugs in this channel. So we've got a pile of resistors, all of different values, which I'll need to check out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten resistors. There we go. So we've got a wee pile of stuff sitting on the bench. Pardon me. 
just go back onto me for a second because this camera is getting on my nerves. Hmm. I was hoping it'd be a bit better. I was hoping it'd be a bit better on the bench, but it seems you have to go into manual focus on everything. So, would I be better, just as a matter of interest, would I be better doing this as a video where I can actually scroll in on stuff rather than a live stream? Let me just have a little peruse of the instructions. Uh, 330, 478, 100k, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's a Zener diode, right, okay, 3 volt Zener, push buttons, blah, 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 doesn't really tell you what to put in first, um, okay, so normally I go for the lowest value of things, or the lowest height, which is resistor, so we should have 2330, which is orange, orange, brown. Yeah, it's easy enough to see when you know what you're, you're doing. So I'm going to bring my, my little two light. I think it's going to be better as a video. I may well, rather than doing this as a live stream, because I can't really focus in on what I'm doing, I might do it as a video. And seeing as there's not actually many people tuning in, I'm, I might do it as a video rather than... Yeah, because we've got Chris and Ted doing War Hamster coming up. Um, can't really see what I'm doing here unless I do it as a video where I can get some proper zooming in. Hmm. Debatable. It was an idea in my head. I think I might just call it quits actually as a disaster because the web camera is not focusing and um, I'll do it as an actual video. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's maybe what I will do. Apologies. Um, I was going to try and do it live, but the cameras are rubbish and yeah. I'll do this as a build, uh, a proper build video. Um, and apologies for wasting your time. And I'm still waiting on my delivery. Right. I'll speak to you later, guys. Look after yourselves. And tatty boggles. <laughs>